Hello everybody and welcome to another hobby cheating video and today we're going to talk about exposed muscle, namely what you see on this guy. So this is the soul grinder body I've used to convert my giant here, great body, but it has all these weird exposed muscles. So I'm going to walk you through my process for how we do some nice exposed musculature. And by the way, if you don't happen to have, uh, if you want to just do this on top of regular skin, you could certainly do that. So we're starting with just a nice deep red base coat. Don't use a bright, bright red. I'm using Pro Acryl Burnt Red here, but you can use anything you want. Give it a nice base coat. That's what I did there to begin. Pretty straightforward. Now I'm giving it a wash of a mix with Juchi, Juchi Violet and Agrax Earthshade. I'm not normally all about washing all over something, but this surface is so heavily textured that it's actually beneficial to us. Those are two quick steps. You don't really need me to tell you how to base coat and wash. So once that's done, now comes the real magic. So muscles are bands, you know, these, these little fibers that are all banded together. So everything we do from this point forward is going to be these thin lines. So I'm starting with more of just the burnt red, and that's why I didn't mind washing here because I knew I was gonna go back over the top of everything with these thin lines. So I'm taking some nice, just straight up burnt red and a relatively sharp brush, and I'm just drawing, these aren't the thinnest lines. I'm not being super picky, but everything I do from now on, everything, everything, the key with muscle tissue, exposed muscle tissue is showing the muscle fiber. So from starting that burnt red, everything I do from this point is just gonna be integrating some deck tan into my burnt red. You can use any color. You could use any kind of gray or off gray or Caucasian skin tone. I wouldn't use a pure white because that'll go too pink too fast. I like deck tan because it's a nice, perfect mix. So that was just a tiny amount, probably like five to one uh, of just, you know, a burnt red to deck tan. Now we're starting to integrate it closer to like a 50-50 mix, but not quite there. And now you'll notice I have a very sharp brush and I'm just tracing these thin lines. Now what I want to really draw your attention to is that I'm going to, I'm tracing all the parts of the muscle, but I'm focusing on the volume in the middle of the muscle tissue. So you see there right where the light would normally reflect on the chest muscle, I am focusing my highlights there because muscle tissue should also have a sort of shine to it. And so the parts that are highlighted are where the fibers are reflecting. Okay, that's how we're treating the light here. So notice I'm pulling the highlights to the center of the muscle structure. I'll also point out that I do two to three layers of striations, of stripes, of sharp, thin lines before I go back and increase my paint ratio. So I have some ratio, 50-50 is about what I was operating at there on that last pass. I did two to three passes of that to reinforce those lines because they will look much brighter when you initially lay them down and the paint is glossy and when it dries, it will be much dimmer. Then I go back in, I increase my ratio and I trace my sharp thin lines over less of the muscle structure. So I'm covering a smaller area, okay? Uh, every time, you notice every so often I do extend it out beyond my old lines, that's fine because that will dry out and will just seem like a random piece of, of tissue that's caught light. Now I'm up to mostly deck tan, very little red. And you'll notice that the volume I'm covering has now become very, very small, right in the center to catch that pure glint. So now is where I come to a fun trick. Instead of using a normal red glaze, which I might normally do to bring this all black back in line, since this is exposed muscle, I'm gonna use some thin blood for the blood god. So I have some water in my brush and it's a moist brush and I wet it out on a paper towel, thin it down, and then I'm just tracing that blood for the blood god over top and using it like a built-in glaze. Now, this is gonna make the whole surface shiny. So if you want to have the muscle tissue look bloody, you can basically stop here and that would be fine. But we're gonna keep going a little more. Now I'm gonna come in with a dark ink. So I've got a little bit of blue black ink mixed with my burnt red and I'm just gonna retrace all those dark lines and make sure that the striations have full contrast. Now, I do mat this out at the end and I trace a few more of the highlights back in. That's an optional step. I didn't record that because I just let it dry after it was matte. I wanted to put a little bit of highlight back in. If you want the muscle to look bloody, don't matte it out with a varnish. 
I didn't, I wanted it to look placed, so I matted it and then just redid the process you just saw me do of tracing a few lines, but I didn't push them as far. That's it. That's the whole thing. It's just that easy. So with that, I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a like if you did. Subscribe for additional hobby cheating in the future. And as always, we'll see you next time.